So I literally just got home and settled into my desk. It's 9.30 p.m. and I kid you not, I left the house to start my day at 6 a.m. There is frost on the inside of my car. <laughs> so, kind of a long day and it's only Monday. But that's okay. We had lectures all day and then in the afternoon we had flex activity day, which is so cool. It's all these researchers presenting their sort of projects, whether they're ongoing or completed. And then it's an opportunity for med students to become engaged or participate in those projects because one of our course requirements is to do a scholarly project. And then after that, I had choir. These are my med school friends with Emily and Jennifer. Please. Faye, you're going to be on the oh, vlog. Oh my god, hi. This is Hannah, our choir mom. And this is Lauren. I dreamed a dream in time to So as you might imagine, I'm very tired, but I feel like I should try and grind out some studying just because there's a lot of content and yeah, I got a, got a lot to learn. So I'm currently studying the brain. So this brain lecture has a lot of words that I don't really know. So what I've done is I've put them into spreadsheets. So I have the term on the left and then on the right I have a description and then I just change the text to white so it's hidden so that I can kind of self quiz myself on the term and then if I want to check my answer I just look down and the highlighted box will have all the text here because that's the cell that it's showing. So my brain is officially tired of studying the brain <laughs> so as a break I'm gonna go get ready and change my face so that I look presentable for the fatigue seminar which we have at the hospital this afternoon. Alright, so I'm back and yeah, I'm gonna do my pre-readings now for the fatigue seminar. I feel like med students need to know about fatigue not only for their patients but also for themselves and Based on what I've looked at so far, fatigue is like really, really, really hard to find the root cause of it because there can be multiple problems and usually it's secondary to something else that's going on. So yeah, fun times. All right, so I am done my readings on the fatigue seminar. Nice solid minus eight going on today. All right, so I am all bundled up and I am heading to the hospital. <sighs> These stairs. Good morning, it's Wednesday. I'm working on CBL. I thought I had abandoned my old ways of doing this last minute in the morning right before CBL, but turns out I have <laughs> Reverted. Just had CBL and as you can see we're still learning about the spine. Behind me I've got the spastic and flaccid bladder response to a spinal cord injury. And here we've got um, sexual function with response to a spinal cord injury. Neurology is just so, so crazy. It's so cool but also like, what is happening? Alright so it's lunchtime. I'm gonna try and squeeze in a really quick workout. Uh, there's like no parking available so I had to park kind of far away from the entrance but it just got me thinking it's kind of ironic that I am like too lazy to walk to the gym even though I'm about to do a workout. <laughs> eee. Wow looks like I might actually be on time for once. Oh yeah. Wednesday night, I'm gonna watch Game of Thrones, and this is video evidence that med students don't study all the time. At least not this one. <laughs> so it is 10 to 8 in the evening, and I'm going to start studying. I just took a little bit of a break, 
had dinner, but the fun in Game of Thrones is over. Let's see what I did there. Hmm, yeah. Step one. Step two. Step three. And step four. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna review the lectures from today, hopefully work through my giant checklist of things that I want to understand in better detail, and then do some prep for tomorrow because I will be learning how to do a cardiac exam. Alright, I have studied enough. Well, probably not enough, but I am gonna go to bed. <laughs> Well, hello there. So I am ready for the hospital in my professional-ish look. Just gonna have something to eat and then I am gonna drive over. Alrighty, just finished a cardiac exam. It was really fun. Our preceptor um, had some really cool teaching ideas. We don't really get 10 minutes to do an exam, but he like made us do it in five slash four slash three minutes just to kind of put us under pressure and we had to do that in front of our group. So I think I'm gonna adopt that in my practice routine and yeah, it was a good afternoon. Anyways, I signed up for this thing called the Iceman. It's like you ski, you run, you skate, and you swim. And it's um, a team-based thing that I signed up for because there's no way I'm doing that by myself. But I am doing the skiing portion, an eight kilometer cross-country ski, and my cardio is not in optimal condition and this thing is like two, three weeks away. So I'm gonna go for a ski right now and just kind of figure out the course and figure out if I'm going to die when the actual race happens. Woo! We're going for a ski. Hey, today's Friday. Had a very full day of lectures. I actually ended up working out twice. <laughs> Once in the morning with my friend Morgan. That's my friend Morgan. <laughs> She's my workout buddy slash very good friend. <laughs> and then at lunch as well with my friend Hannah. This is my friend Hannah. Hi. We're at the gym because we have six hours of lecture. Anything else you want to say? I'm really sweaty. <laughs>